A nuclear fusion company claims they can create gold with a nuclear fusion power plant up to three tons a year. Really? Yes, really. Let's have a look. The idea comes from researchers at the company Marathon Fusion based in San Francisco. They're looking at the most widely pursued approach to nuclear fusion, that's deuterium tritium in a tokamak device or similar. These devices have two big problems that the researchers say they can turn into an advantage. The first problem is that the reaction produces a lot of fast neutrons. These are very, very unhealthy, yet difficult to stop and require a lot of shielding. The second problem is where to get the tritium for the fusion reaction. Deuterium is an isotope of hydrogen with an extra neutron in the nucleus. It occurs naturally in about 1 in 6,000 hydrogen atoms and it's also fairly easy to produce. Tritium is yet another isotope of hydrogen, this one with three nucleons. It basically doesn't occur naturally. Naturally. It's produced as a byproduct in nuclear fission plants, but in incredibly small amounts. That makes it very expensive. Indeed, at $30,000 per gram, tritium is one of the most expensive substances on the planet, second only to coffee at Zurich Airport. These researchers now propose to put several layers of shielding around the reactor vessel so that the materials produce more tritium and also turn mercury to gold. In more detail, they have three layers. The first, the inner layer, contains a mix of mercury and lithium. The second, the middle layer, contains a molten salt of lithium, beryllium and fluoride. And around the two, there's a shielding layer of a special type of steel. The neutrons that are created in the nuclear fusion are very fast. If they hit the mercury in the first layer, they do what's called an N to N process. That means means the one neutron goes into the nucleus, but that kicks out two neutrons, leading to a net loss of one. This turns the stable mercury isotope into an unstable one, which then decays into the normal stable isotope of gold. The middle layer with the molten salt slows down some of the neutrons. These slower neutrons are then captured by the lithium, which decays to helium plus tritium. They choose the amounts of these materials in the layers so that the tritium production covers the reactor needs and then the other neutrons can be used to produce gold. They do a computer simulation for a tokamak with 1.5 gigawatt of power and say that it'd produce almost 3,000 kilograms of gold per year. At current market value, that's approximately as much as the value of the produced electricity. As they write, the consequence of this work is that the value of outputs of every DT fusion power plant is now around twice what they were expected to be, assuming the current price of gold. This will dramatically increase the amount of investment in fusion development and accelerate the deployment of economically viable fusion energy at scale. But there's a catch. It's that the freshly made gold includes a small amount of a radioactive isotope of gold. That means the gold will be radioactive for about 14 years until the radioactivity will drop below safety thresholds. I also have to warn you that this is not a peer-reviewed paper, but it all sounds roughly plausible. The question is, of course, how realistic the numbers from the simulation are. You may be wondering why not do the same thing with nuclear fission plants, since these also produce neutrons. The reason is that the neutrons are too slow. They don't lend themselves to this purpose. And why not just sell the tritium? Because the market is super small and it'd be saturated in about no time. CERN was recently in the headlines for producing gold in lead collisions at the Large Hadron Collider in the most recent run. But even summing up all the gold atoms they found, we're talking about picograms, so that's not going to finance their bigger collider. I think the idea of making gold with a nuclear fusion plant is cute, basically alchemy but with more computer simulations and fewer bids. I think we should call it solid state capitalism. If you ever get the feeling that the news is more about storytelling than facts, 
Ground News is worth a look. Ground News is a news platform for people who value facts. They collect and summarize news which has been published all over the world. Not only do they collect all articles on the same story in one place and give you a quick summary, they also give you a lot of extra information that you don't find in the standard media. Have a look, for example, at the recent news that the Trump administration removed some major climate reports from the official website. You see right away that this news basically hasn't been covered by the political right, which I find somewhat disturbing, but it also tells you that information bubbles are real. They also give you a factuality rating for each news item and you can see where the news has appeared. Ground News also has this great feature called Blind Spot. This tells you which news has been almost exclusively covered only by one side of the political spectrum. I found it to be super useful for checking whether a story is being blown out of proportion, ignored or distorted. And of course I have a special offer for you that's a 40% discount on the Vantage plan which gives you access to all their features. All you need to do is use my link ground.news Sabine or scan the QR code so they'll know I sent you. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.